Coffee maker. A coffee maker is a kitchen appliance used to brew coffee without having to boil water in a separate container. James Mason invented the coffee percolator on December 26, 1865. In this chapter, we look inside a typical drip coffee maker so you can understand exactly what's happening when you make coffee. A modern drip coffee maker is a surprisingly simple device. If you take off the top of the coffee maker, you find three things. There's a reservoir that holds the water when you pour. There's a white tube that leads up from below the reservoir base, carrying the hot water up to the drip area. There is a shower head. Water arrives here from the white hot water tube and is sprayed over the coffee grounds. If you take the bottom off the coffee maker, here's what you'll find. The orange tube on the top picks up the cold water coming down from the hole in the reservoir. The orange tube on the bottom is the hot water tube. You can also see the power cord coming in as well. On the left-hand side of the base of the coffee maker is the heating element. This component is comprised of an aluminium extrusion with two parts, a resistive heating element and a tube for water to flow through. The resistive heating element and the aluminium tube heat the water. A resistive heating element is sandwiched between the warming plate and the aluminium water tube. The resistive heating element presses directly against the underside of the warming plate and white heat conductive grease makes sure the heat transfers efficiently. When you pour in cold water, it flows from the reservoir through the hole and into the orange tube. Then the water flows through the one-way valve into the aluminium tube in the heating element and then partially up through the white tube. This all happens naturally because of gravity. When you turn on the switch, the resistive heating element starts heating the aluminium tube and eventually the water in the tube boils. When the water boils, the bubbles rise up in the white tube. What happens next is exactly what happens in a typical aquarium filter. The tube is small enough and the bubbles are big enough that a column of water can dry upward on top of the bubbles. The water flows up the white tube and is dispersed to drip evenly on the waiting coffee grounds. The hot water flows through the ground coffee beans, picking up their oil essence on the way down into the coffee pot. A piece of filter paper at the bottom of the pot stops the coffee grounds from falling through into the coffee.